Um, very quickly, in our final minute, you've been called the most anti-war candidate in the 2020 race. Are there any U.S. wars that you would continue to fight as president? The war against al-Qaeda and ISIS, these terrorist groups that continue to pose a threat to the safety and security of the American people, uh, whether it is a terrorist entity or another country, if you, if you directly threaten the American people, then that is a threat that we need to address. However, my strong stance has been against these counterproductive regime change wars that have been counter to our national security interests. They've strengthened terrorist groups like ISIS and al-Qaeda. They have taken thousands, thousands of my brothers and sisters in uniforms' lives, and they have cost the American people dearly. Every time we hear about uh, people in Flint being poisoned by their water, there's news of more communities and children being poisoned by lead in their water. This is a direct failure of, the, of not dedicating our resources towards our health and well-being of our people and instead squandering them on these wasteful regime change wars. This is why I'm running for president, to bring about this sea change in our foreign policy so we can put the American people first.